What's up guys? Happy Monday. We're here again in the garage with the poor S chassis. Um, like I said, we had some AFRs fluctuating all over. And the only variable I can think of could be the plugs. I changed the plugs. Um, I went with a 7 instead of a 6. I've always run a 6. I wanted to try out a 7. That's the only thing I can think of. So, let's go ahead and get this open. Get the uh, Pinku style cover off and start getting plugs out. Alright, so here's our first one. You know, that was... Only a couple miles on the car. Probably 60 miles on that plug. There's the one right behind it. Third one back. That's the one in the back by the firewall. Like I said, those are NGK 7s and a copper. Um, I usually run 6s. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in some laser iridium. 6s. See if that helps. Um, I got them down to point uh, 030. Now what you don't want to do, and I've seen people do, is just drop the plug in there. You don't want to risk breaking anything, breaking the porcelain or anything like that. Okay, now I love my Pinku style coil pack cover. Um, it just, it doesn't have enough holes to make me comfortable uh, with the coil packs and these SRs get actually really hot and they can actually arc themselves out. So this is actually one that I made. The hole over each coil pack. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this back on just to make sure everything's kosher down there. Alright, so I got the new plugs installed. I love four cylinders. It's so much easier that way. Got all four plugs installed. I don't know. I like that cover. I think that looks pretty good on there. But, you know, it's getting pretty laid out. So, we'll go ahead and we'll start this tomorrow and uh, see if that fixed the issue, see if I gapped them too small. I kind of guessed me at that 030, so hopefully that works out. But, like I said, let's pick this up tomorrow. What's up guys, it is the next day, it is later in the next day. Uh, it was hot and muggy all day, so 
I stayed in. Um, then I went over and helped Jake out. He uh, put his car on the rack and the toe was right. Everything else out of whack. His caster and stuff kept changing on him when he kept trying to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this up. Let it get up to uh, open loop. Uh, and see where my AFR is sitting. See if the plugs did anything. times and you know it's still it ran good we uh it boosts uh quite a bit beat on each gear i stayed idling fine um that is a cheap ebay fuel pressure regulator so i think i'm going to swap that um and i've seen the vacuum lines maybe a little brittle too so maybe that has something to do with something um but we changed the plugs uh plugs that were in it were newer but you know, it is what it is. We'll swap it. We swapped them, so. Uh, but, we'll get a fuel pressure regulator to put on it. We'll get new vacuum line put on there. Um, not a whole lot in today's video. Uh, kind of a plug thing. But, uh, you know, for you guys, you're plugging a S or gapping the plugs for an S14SR. Um, I use those laser iridiums. They work really nice. They're actually a really good plug. I got spare sets up here as well. Uh, the BKR6 uh, laser iridium. It's a great plug. Um, we run the laser iridium in there as well. But, yeah, that's not a lot today. But, you know, ripped in the car. Car ripped around real nice. And I'm sure the neighbors aren't thrilled with it, but... And it is, a, is what it is. So, till next time, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, keep on sliding.